This chicken leg is one year old. I bought it at Lidl, not a sponsor, and I've embalmed it myself, and it will help me explain embalming to you. It's a little bit squeaky. Oh, broke something. You can see the muscle fibers. It's a little bit translucent, like amber. And it smells, it smells like a modern art museum or something like a, like some kind of a candle or something. Nothing, nothing organic in the smell. I've got two of them. One is looking a little bit different and it's a little bit more dry. It is white because I sprayed it with translucent paint and uh, it didn't turn out well. Yeah. This one, this one smells more organic. Hmm. Completely dry. So what are the tissues preserved with? The tissues are preserved in formalin. So a lot of people say formaldehyde, but actually it's a gas and formalin is the same gas in a water solution. So, so this is a bottle of formalin. It's 10%, so it's not, it's not so strong. Formalin is a very simple chemical compound. It's just one atom of carbon, one atom of oxygen and two atoms of hydrogen. So what formalin does to the tissues? I was wondering about that and I figured that it needs to do something with proteins. And I was right. It turns out that when you have proteins in your body, they are folded somehow. Every protein is folded in a different way. And formalin forms crosslinks in those folded proteins. So it's like you taped everything together so they cannot unfold and thus the body cannot decompose. This also means that when the formalin sets into the tissues, they become stiff. It stops everything. So I cannot unfold this leg or do anything much. There's a, not much movement here, as you can see. And it's exactly the same with people. So that's why you need to set the features as soon as you embalm a person, because there's no turning back after that. The way you lay the body down and fold the uh, hands and set the facial features, it will stay exactly the same and you cannot do anything about it. Thankfully, we don't embalm in Poland, so we don't have this problem. Race with time. So we don't do embalming, so how do I know all that? Well, I worked as a technician at a cadaver lab and I worked with industrial quantities of formalin, so that's how I know. Chicken leg anatomical wet specimen. Chicken legs, needle, syringe, and a solution of formaldehyde, alcohol, and water. Let's start. see the fascia here. It looks the same in humans. Here we have the subcutaneous layer, which is just a layer of fat. A 
that's the fat separated. This is some kind of a nerve here. Ah, it smells horrible. not as flexible as it was before. You can try to scrape a bit of fat here. The human fat is much more yellow. So I do this in the same manner with people as with this chicken. Sliding all over the place. I can see the ligament already here. What I will do is I will get rid of all of these membranes to show the muscles much more clearly but I need to secure this in place because it's sliding all over the, the tray and it's very hard to do this because of that. So I'm tugging and cutting, just barely touching it with the blade. If you would eat that chicken you would probably die. Well, now we know how formalin works on dead stuff, but maybe some of you are wondering what would happen if I would put my finger in a bucket of formalin. Well, I tried, so check it out. So here are my fingers. I'm going to dip the right one into the bucket for about, let's say one minute, okay? And then I'll show you later what will happen to it. Okay, let's go. Fifteen seconds left. Three, two, one. Okay. So this is how it looks now. There is no visible difference, but you'll see later. Hmm. Dirty fingernails. Sorry. So you can see that the right one is wrinkled more already, and mind you that it was just one minute. But I want to make it more obvious, so I will put it into formalin for five minutes tomorrow. That's the one from the formalin, and that's the control finger. It was submerged up to here somewhere. This one is smooth and nice. It feels a bit numb. I think that the nerve endings are a little bit damaged or something. Yeah, but anyway, that's the difference. This is what formalin does to the skin. It just cooks it chemically. This will last for about one week and then it will go back to normal. So what is embalming exactly nowadays? Well, long story short, it means that you are replacing the blood in the system with formalin and other conserving fluids. The fluid mixing is an art in itself, so I'll leave it to the experts. When I got to know about that, I was like, hmm, what about the egg white? And it turns out that the egg white has seven different types of proteins. So I'm really curious if there will be instant reaction or something. So let's try to sprinkle an egg with some formalin and see what happens. This looks like sun.
fingers crossed. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like much. It looks like something is happening after all, but a lot slower than I anticipated. We have the web, you see this webbing? I'll leave it like that and check on it later. Okay, so this is our egg after one week. There is a little bit of formalin still in there and it didn't coagulate as I was expecting it to. It's coagulated, but it's still a little bit wobbly. I'll put it in a higher temperature so the formalin will evaporate and we'll see in a few days what happens. As you can see, it doesn't slide on the Petri dish, so I'll try to separate it with a spatula so I can remove it in one piece later, hopefully. The yolk is very hard. I've injected formalin directly into the middle where this concave surface is. I hope that I'll have a nice sunny side up chemically cooked egg in a few days. And yes, I will use this spatula later for cooking. So this is our egg after one week. It smells heavily of egg white and it's peeling off. I'll try to peel it in one piece. There wasn't much formalin in here, so I think that that the effect is not full. This feels slippery and oily. Hmm. I'm really hoping for the other one. It looks much better and we'll see it in a few days. I will crack one raw egg as a comparison and leave it somewhere in the sun. So we'll see. Okay, so here are the results and they are the most surprising because the control egg looks absolutely fantastic. It smells like raw egg, but other than that, it's just flat. The yolk is hard and it travels a little bit, you see? But there's no smell of rotten egg, or nothing. That's interesting. Here's our egg number two. This is the formalin egg. Oh, it still, oh, it still reeks of formalin and smells like horseradish times a thousand. It just makes you cry immediately and you cannot breathe and it's very hard. Yeah, and that's, this is nothing. Let's try to separate it gently in one piece. Almost. Yeah. Almost nothing is left on the dish, so the egg white became completely translucent. The yolk is exposed from the other side. And it's very, it's very waxy. It smells like formalin. Mm. Okay, so this is a chemically cooked sunny side up egg. Let's plate it nicely with our chicken leg and the dinner is ready. Bon appetit! Well, I hope you learned something from this and as a final act, I will bury this leg for one year in the ground. So we'll see what will happen to it. How do you think? I think nothing will happen to it. Maybe it'll change color, but nothing will eat it. I'm very curious. What are my thoughts about embalming? Well, I think it's ridiculous unless it's really necessary. I think that you should leave grandma trot peacefully as mother nature intended. But that's just my opinion. 
Well, I hope this was fun and that you've learned something. If you appreciate my content, there is much more coming. So subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.